All right, today we're going to make the ultimate Bloody Mary. Um, I first had this at a wine bistro down in Lincoln, Nebraska and decided to recreate it. Um, there's a couple things you need to do beforehand. Uh, what I like to do is take tomato juice and put it in your ice cube trays so you have ice cube, tomato ice cubes. Uh, it doesn't water down the drink and it makes it even better. Uh, another thing, because it, as you'll see as we go along, um, there are a lot of gar garnishes for this drink. Um, you can buy deviled eggs in the grocery stores now already made. If you want to make your own, that's fine. Uh, I opted to make my own. Um, we're also going to use shrimp, bacon, uh, dill pickles, olives, and shrimp. I may have said shrimp already. Anyway, to get started, uh, we're going to take two ounces of vodka and I really like the idea of putting a little bit of horseradish into the Bloody Mary and it doesn't take much just a little bit we'll add that in and then all the other usual suspects tomato juice And then a dash of, I never can say the word, the W bottle, Worcestershire. A couple dashes of that. A couple dashes of hot sauce of your choice. A little bit of black pepper. And a little bit of celery salt. And then we're going to take that and put it into the shaker with some regular ice. And we're going to give that a real good shake. Get everything stirred up real good. Okay, then we're going to take our, our highball glass and get a good wedge of lime. Okay, then we're going to cut that and put that around the top of your highball glass and put it in some salt. So you have a nice rim of salt and squeeze the rest of that lime juice into your highball glass. Okay, then we were going to strain the Bloody Mary into the glass. And add a few of our tomato juice ice cubes. Now the fun part is coming up next. We're going to garnish this with celery. Uh, just a minute, I maybe put too much in. Mmm, 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 mmm. And then a shrimp, a piece of bacon, and then we're going to take some hard salami and some ah, pimento stuffed olives. And we're just going to skewer those and skewer the salami onto our toothpick and add another olive. And then we're going to top it off 
with a deviled egg. Now this is a great brunch drink because it has everything you need in a brunch and it's a beautiful piece of art. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Enjoy!